What is up guys? We are back with some more next time on Extinction and we're about to head to Takala to, to talk about the next phase of the plan since now we've um, awakened to all the tyrants. And I did grind up the team a little bit so everybody's like mid 50s, early 60s now. Oh, Blades, how far have you come? Six tyrants at your very disposal. Once you defeat Vados, no one will dispute your right to rule. Become the absolute king of monsters and restore our dying planet. Do we really have to defeat Vados? I mean, maybe if we just talk to him. Absolutely not. Vados is not a tyrant. Vados is not even a real Nexomon. Who's, who's that? Coming out the woodworks. Uh, our new loyal subject. <laughs> it's kind of cool having like a fan club now. <laughs> yes, Lobo. <laughs> Blades, my king. Vados is the vile embodiment of Amelie's arrogance. A weapon who will purge tyrants until the end of days, non-stop and nonchalantly. My king, you are a tyrant yourself. Do not forget that. As such, you will never be safe until Vados is annihilated. I will not allow such an aberration to lay a hand on you. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, great blades. I have sworn to aid you in every way I could. Observe, I have scoured the world to find you some allies. Okay. <laughs> you, f you found people like I already am cool with? Is, is that what you're telling me? Okay, this looks dope. Okay, I like that. After all, what is a king without his vassals? As you have recruited the tyrants, I mustered the renegades for you. Okay, like now it's kind of cool to see them all like drawn out like this together. Uh, especially Atlanta with the blue hair. I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen. Like you guys can like see where I'm pointing. Those who were once forsaken by the guild will now stand by your side. Together we will defeat Vados. We will defeat Amalai. We will free the world from that woman's vile mach machinations? Machinations? I don't know why I can't say that word. <laughs> hmm. Why did you bring the psychopaths here? We already have the tyrants. We don't need these guys. Blades, my king. Just like yourself, the almighty Omnicron was on the verge of conquering this world. Dang it. So, so close. But he lost. He was slain by a group of puny humans. Do you see now? Omnicron's greatest mistake was to underestimate mankind. You will not be like him. You will be more. To overcome Vados, humans, and Nexmon will have to work together. And you, Blades, you will lead us all to victory. Okay. Say less. I got y'all. I put the team on my back. Listen well, warriors of blades. The dark apparition dwells in the heart of Param, the impregnable city. Hundreds, no, thousands of tamers lie within its walls. Therefore, we must lure Vados outside the city. We must drag him far, far away. Only then can our tyrants ambush him. Any proposals? Oh, oh, me. You have a most excellent idea. Set the city on fire. The sheer heat will force Vados out and what? Who invited this guy? Who? He talking about like some pyromaniac stuff. Let's just set everything ablaze. <laughs> Jin, you dimwit. If we burn the city to a crisp, there will be nothing left for us to loot. That That's not, that's not the problem, Atlanta. <laughs> it's like, who? Who recruited you guys again? Why are you guys here? <laughs> An airship. We must acquire an airship. Oh. And what shall we do when we procure one? Procure one. Well, we crash it. Think about it, guys. Vados is always flying atop the city on the lookout for tyrants. We can use an airship to drag him away from Param. And crash him very far away, where all the tyrants can finish him off for good, together. This game is messed up. Oh, that's how, in the beginning of the game, first episode, we're on that aircraft that's crashing. You know, it's one of those moments like, you're probably wondering how I got here, and now we're playing through the game to get back to there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> my, my, this could be most certainly work. The next step in our plan shall be to take control of an airship. The simplest way to get one is by becoming a Grandmaster of the Guild. Tamers of that rank have ludicrous perks such as that. If Blaze were to be promoted to a Grandmaster, we could use his airship to drag Vados away from the city. 
Blades, you are a goal teamer, yes? Then you can apply for a promotion. There's a number of requirements to become a Grandmaster, but nothing our great King of Monsters cannot achieve. Shall we stand by until you become a Grandmaster? You must acquire an airship if you are to defeat Vados. Okay, so what's the requirements? Hopefully it's not like I have to catch a certain amount of Nexomon because I only have like 89 in the decks. So that'll be, that'll be kind of trash. But it's probably going to be like a fight with the Grandmaster. Like if you can beat a Grandmaster, you can become a Grandmaster. I don't know, that feel, that, I feel like that's the only thing that would make sense. But if you guys have yet to, to do so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps the channel a lot lets me know you're enjoying the content you see here. Thank you. Oh, hello, Blades. How may I help you today? Oh, a confident one, aren't you? There are three basic requirements to become a Grandmaster. You must be a Gold Tamer, you must have a reputation of 600, and you must pass the combat challenge. You are indeed a Gold Tamer, so that's good. You already have 600 reputation points, so that's fulfilled as well. Therefore, the only requirement left is the combat challenge. Obviously, Grandmasters must be exceptional warriors. You will have to prove it with a special battle. Would you like to take the challenge now? Heck yeah! Hmm, very well, Blitz. Let's see what you're made of. Follow me outside for your combat challenge. Yeah, I wonder how this is going to go. Do I have to... Oh, okay, I was like, do I have to walk? Oh, I just fight other gold tamers that want to become a Grandmaster? Ladies and gentlemen, the gold tamer Blaze has requested to become a Grandmaster. I can see the determination in his eyes. But does he possess the strength in his heart? We will find out in a moment. Who, who, who? Let the first battle commence. So it's three battles. Gold Tamer, Water Type Specialist, Nolan. Well, well, we meet again, Blades. I saw your strength when we fought together in the Frozen Tundra, remember me? I don't deny your might, but we've protocol to follow, eh? Let's roll, kid. It's funny, because like, as muscular as this guy is, I wouldn't expect him to, to be just a, a Water Specialist. Dang, look at that health, like... Okay, you're just swapping through all the all the water types? Oh my god, how do you get that frozen proc off? And I swear, it's like Sycophy always stays frozen like the most, too. Makes no sense. I just need you to not be frozen. Okay, I'm gonna just use the item. I keep forgetting I have the antifreeze. Green sphere it up. Uh, yep, our best bet on healing up. Yeah, do your little swappings. You just you just help me out. That's all I'm saying. Okay, you got the water, uh, the water starter. That's fine. This ain't, ain't a problem for me. I forgot how much I did, so I think I'm going to do a green sphere. Uh, we did perfectly 100 damage on that. Okay, green sphere. Uh, yeah, just to get that health back. I was thinking about doing that or the full heal. 30% chance to put someone to sleep. 
Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of the short circuit one because I'm like, it's not really convenient for puzzling when I have a move that can proc it. Wonderfully done, buddy. You are destined for greatness. I just know it. So now we got the fire specialist, Ross, right? Noah has been bested in combat. Let the second battle commence. Gold Tamer, Fire Type Specialist, Finn. AA. I owe you one, Blaze. You saved me from Mulsimer. Don't be fooled, though. I've grown a lot stronger since that time. Come at me, mate. Oi, oi. I'm, like, I'm guessing you're supposed to be like Australian accent or something. I'm like, good thing I have uh, this guy. Yeah, we'll use this just to have some damage dealt back. Because I never used this move, too, so. I wish I had a healing move on D Domigator, though. And I'm kind of wondering if, like, there's other water types that do. Ah, oh, we got the burn. Well, that's horrible. The burn lowers your attack um, by like 30%. And you get damage dealt to you each turn. So we're going to get rid of that. That did a lot. It's like, come on, like, this is supposed to be not very effective. Out here doing 60, 60 ish damage. Yeah, because I'm like, you can definitely one-shot my boy if you get, like, damage over 60. Oh, that was a weird swap. Huh. This is who, this is who you saved for last? Was a, a freaking lan lantern? <laughs> I don't know. Seems weird to me. But imagine if I didn't, like, take the time off screen to grind up the team. How much harder this fight would be, because my next amount were all, like, early 50s. We learned Bite. Uh, no, I don't need Bite. Normal doesn't... Normal's not super effective against anything, so it's pretty, pretty darn useless. Oof, you are something else. Blade, don't forget about us when you become a legend. Hmm. <laughs> I most certainly will. Finn has been defeated. Let the third battle commence. Gold Tamer, Electric Type Specialist, Riley. Ho ho ho, Blades wants to be a Grandmaster now. You want to be a star, eh? I, I, let's see how bright you can shine, friendo. I like it. I, I, be, <laughs> say less. Woo, was not expecting a crit on that. Let's try, let's try to lower your attack. Like, oh my... Why are you critting out the butt right now, bro? And I'm like, that's my... That's my fastest move? That's sad. We just got to try to get these these little leeches on. So I do want to keep uh, Neuocidal in. God dang, like, why why y'all hitting like trucks out here? And you know you know what I think it is. It's because I, I don't have like on like defensive, uh, I don't have on defensive cores. I'll probably save those and just. 
because not necessarily I need any stam. It's really just the, the health part. Yeah, there we go. 57. My health is so low on him too. Oh my gosh. 199? Oh, of course you have the electric st and I'm puzzled. I get puzzled like the instant you use that move. That's trash. Okay, we're gonna switch over into Sikafa. My boy Sikafa. Okay, you just get every freaking proc off? Like, what? <laughs> Y'all. Look at this. Demotivated and puzzled. Yeah. Lucky my boy went easy on you. Finally, a 150 move. Our first time getting a 150 move on an Exomon. So, deals massive ghost type damage. Sweet. So, now I'm like, uh, what is that? The speed on that is trash, though. Like, 10 speed? Uh, we'll just get rid of Arcane Magic. Eternal Darkness is a pretty cool name for it, though. Amazing. With Tamers like you, perhaps we didn't need Vados. Go on, Blaze. Let's fight again another day. Oh, uh, you think? Vados is a problem. Riley has been defeated. You did it, Blades. We can now get the... Not so fast, kids. The challenge is not over yet. Now it's my turn, Blades. Oh, snap. You're a tamer? My job involves more than mere paperwork, dear. I am the reason we have so few Grandmasters, after all. Can you defeat the fourth Grandmaster of the guild? Oh, snap. You're a Grandmaster? Okay, that music's tight. <laughs> I'm like, I just want that health. Just use that. But at least she, at least she has uh, six Nexum on. Like that, that's a good thing. Okay, that's what I like to see. I've never seen that thing before. It looks really creepy. I'm like, I think I just need to... I, I need to... Wow, how do you go from doing like all that damage to then... Doing 11? Like, did you use a normal move on me? This... This is... Quite the predicament, because we're both good against each other. So it's like we know like we're both just dealing massive amounts of damage. <laughs> bye. Oh, I thought you were going to go bye-bye, but I guess not. Okay, you just specialize in in normals and psychics. Can I get a leech? Yeah. Boom, baby. Oh. Psychic is pretty strong. But Ghost is just as strong, so... Ow. I'm like, what can I even do? Y'all in these swaps, I swear. I find it funny because, like, I know you have psychic moves to use, so why don't you just use that over the normal moves that which aren't very effective against me. I'll say one thing I like about the game too is like there's no immunity. There's like 
no move that you've ever used to someone that's like, oh yeah, this doesn't affect this Nexomon type, you know? Of course, we have this guy, who's fast as hell. Oh dang, I thought I had more than 25, stam. Well that sucks. So two normal types and then, uh, Two normal types, and then four psychic types. That's an interesting team. Eighty-five to paralyze. Yeah. Next, I'm on next attack deals fifty percent extra damage. Dang, that is nice. That is nice, but I can't I can't do it over over my whole setup I have right now. That poison move that I have is clutch. Especially for like legendary uh Nexomon or Nexomon just in general with like a lot of health. Passable. Congratulations, Blades. You are officially a Grandmaster of the Guild. Ay. Ah yeah. Look at that. Oh, that looks smooth too. Don't jump on the stairs, Grandmaster. Don't boss me around, I'm a Grandmaster. Out my face. As a Grandmaster, you've unlocked quite a few perks. For example, like like an airship? Y yes, like your own personal airship. You also get access to the upper levels of the Guild Tower. Yep, that means that you get to meet Vados himself. Isn't that nice? Super nice. Oh right, you also get these rewards. A thousand coins, yeah, yeah. Many things will be different for you now that you are a Grandmaster. People will recognize your authority, unlike a Gold Tamer loser. Unlike a Gold Tamer loser. <laughs> We're still here, ma'am. <laughs> I don't care, you're not a Grandmaster, see? Anyway, have fun exploiting your new title, Blades. Of course, Grandmaster Blades. Oh, that has a nice ring to it. We, we did it. Now that you're a Grandmaster, we can use our own airship for the plan against Vados. Don't say that too loud, there's guards right there, bro. I wonder where everyone else is though. Excuse me? Uh, the male guy that has, uh, what was it? Uh, what is it, dementia? I don't know, I can't, Alzheimer's, yeah, oof, oof. I've got a letter for Blades. You are to meet with your renegade friends at the orphanage. You will plan Amalai's downfall and the absolute destruction of Vados at the orphanage, yes? What? Wait, wait, did you read the letter? Did you read our mail, bro? Did Did you read our mail? Oh, see, like, even Koga's like, what the heck? I guess this is it, Blades. We have everything we need to execute the final plan against Vados. This will reveal that we are traitors of the guild. We'll be persecuted. Are, are you ready? Want to go to the orphanage now? Yeah, we'll go. What's everybody doing here? Hey, what's going on here? There are reports of renegade sightings near this building. Now get out of here before I... Th that's a Grandmaster badge. I'm so sorry, Blaze. News of your promotion has barely surfaced. Y you want us to leave this place, but what about the renegade... You fools, there are no magic against Grandmaster Blades. Y you're right, of course. We are leaving this place to you, sir. As long as you know. I can't believe that worked. We should find more ways to abuse this authority later. Anyway, we should meet with the renegades now. Let me go, because I'm pretty sure they did not heal me up. Yeah, no, let me, well, it's all fine then. Only thing I really need to do is just like buy more, uh, more healing stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys went to the far left to that room, um, uh, where our mentor lives at. Oh man, feels good to kind of be back here. It's been a good minute since we were here. Home sweet home, even though it's an orphanage. Blades. I've heard of your promotion. Congratulations. Too bad there might not be a guild anymore soon. Ha! <laughs> That's not funny. But okay. This is it, yes. 
Now that you're a Grandmaster, we can use your airship to drag Vados outside the city. Your tyrants will then ambush him, and you will be the indisputable king of the Nexomon. With your permission, Blades, I shall have my minions prepare the airship right away. Don't worry, Blades, we got your back. It's like I never tried to take you hostage. Oh my, did you try to take him hostage as well? How grand. So unoriginal, I took his friends hostage instead. <laughs> Long live Blades, Emperor of the Animals, or whatever. I hate every single one of you. Every single one of you. <laughs> Blades, there's one more thing you need to do. You must go and speak with Vados. Visit him at the top of the tower. Whoa, are you insane? Why should we go there alone? We can't hit Vados with an airship in plain daylight. Come on. We need to distract him as Grandmaster. You're the only one with access to the upper levels of the tower. Only then will we have a chance to take him away from the city. The airship will take Vados to a faraway island. Go to faraway isles. The tyrants are ready and waiting for the ambush. All that remains is for you to distract him. What happens next will shape the future of our world, Blades. You must rise as the true king of monsters. Say less. I got y'all. I got y'all. Huh. But guys, with that said, I'm in this episode off here. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps with the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying the content you see here as well as the channel. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.